get ready for hunting. Have the since like 2006. Have you ever chased oh, an yes. animal around the woods? Have you ever wanted to go chase an animal in the woods with your pals? Dress up like a tree. We're gonna teach you how. Guys, welcome. Welcome to an adventure that we are going to go on, hopefully, with you. If you've watched us in the past, you know that we did a 90-day transformation challenge last year. Me and Eric and Brian committed to doing a Mountain Ops 90-day challenge, and many of you guys decided to do it with us. Personally, that it was one of the best decisions I've made in a long time, not only for my body and for my health, but just for an overall better lifestyle. 18 days ago, when I got home from that trip, and I was feeling tired, and I was feeling sick, and I was feeling pretty worthless, I weighed myself, and I came to a conclusion. I was the absolute largest I have ever been in my life. I was 247 pounds. I was at a place last year when we started that uh, I never thought I'd be. I was 50 pounds overweight. Uh, when I started that 90 day challenge in April, I was weighing in at 240 pounds, roughly. And I knew I needed to make some changes. Like I said, not only just for my body and my health, but for my overall attitude towards life. Uh, when you get that heavy, there, it, you, it limits the things that you're allowed to do. Play with your kids, tie your own shoes, things like that. I experienced that. And we committed to doing it for 90 days in hopes that it would change some habits, not only for the 90 days, but for mo just moving on with our lives, and it has. Guys, we are back where it all started 90 days ago. The Mountain Ops 90 Days Challenge has officially come to an end. It was trying at times, there's no doubt about it. There are times that I was not wanting to eat healthy. I'm glad I stuck to it, and I feel like I did a fairly good job. I feel like if this was an exam at school, definitely would have passed. I feel healthier, I feel lighter, my hair is way better, but more importantly, I feel like I'm a happier human being, and that was the whole reason behind this was to make some changes that not only would change how I felt physically, but more about making decisions that would make me feel happier mentally. And like I said, it was one of the best decisions I made and I've talked to a lot of you guys that did the same thing and it really changed your lives. So we are asking you if you want to commit yourself to making some healthy changes in your life that will change everything. So do you? <laughs> do you want to go with us? Come with us. We're inviting you guys to either recommit to the 90 day challenge for those of you who did it last year with us and uh, joined us on that. We'd ask you to recommit for the next 90 days starting in January. And for a lot of you, which I'm sure there's plenty because we see it in the direct messages, emails, etc., that a lot of you wish you would have done it last year. And I think that's something that most everyone can relate to is putting something off and uh, maybe procrastinating or maybe within the next 90 days you have some excuse or some reason why you can't do it you might have a trip it's the holiday season you know that we're going through right now but we want to invite all of you guys to do it with us and with that we want to use our platforms to kind of show you what we're doing to make progress what we're doing um, individually and what our separate goals are so um, if you want more information on the challenge, you could simply go to mountainops.com. Underneath their more tab, there's all the information on the 90 day challenge. But this is our invitation to everyone watching this to come do it with us. And uh, yeah, just freaking kill it. The one thing I want to say is, not because this happened to me, was Mountain Ops have done these 90 day challenge for a long time. And every time one was coming up, I'd say, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna commit to that. And for whatever reason, like Eric was just talking about, I found ways not to do it. And I always regretted it. Every time when those 90 day challenges would, would be coming to an end, I'd look at everyone's uh, before and after pictures and see everyone's progress. And I was always very uh, regretful that I didn't decide to commit. Because yeah, 90 days is three months, and, but, and it's, it's not easy to commit for 90 days, but I promise you, what I did last time when I finally committed was I just made a couple small decisions and small changes in my life that would hope that I hoped would lead to bigger decisions and bigger changes in my life, and that's exactly what happened. And uh, in 90 days, I lost over 50 pounds, and I can tell you just from hunting, you know, the big argument always in the industry is, well, 
being in shape doesn't make you a better hunter. I can tell you that's a lie. It's, tr it's not true. If you say that, you're just denying the fact that you're not in the best shape you could possibly be in. Because I can tell you from my experience, I could always hike, I'd always get out and hike, but it wasn't enjoyable. And when you're doing things that it aren't enjoyable, you don't put your best foot forward. You do it half-heartedly. And so I can tell you going through this last fall that we just went through, I enjoyed the suck of hunting. And that is hiking, that's packing stuff out, and that is getting further back in than, than most people want. And it was enjoyable to me this year again. And it did make me a better hunter for that, that reason. So if you're uh, thinking about whether or not you want to do this challenge or not do it, maybe just think of it as a lifestyle change. You don't necessarily need to hit the gym and lift if that's not your thing. You don't necessarily need to lose weight if that's not your thing. Every one of you are gonna have some different aspirations and goals of what you're trying to achieve. I think we represent a pretty good sample size of different aspirations and body types, and that's the beauty of it. Additionally, like when it comes to the Mountain Ops product line, you may find yourself gravitating to one product or two products, not the entire portfolio, and I think that's another thing to consider. That's 100% uh, realistic. You know, I think we each use different products for what we're trying to achieve, but for my wife and I, we're just trying to live a healthier lifestyle. So changing our diet to eat cleaner, better, more often, and then staying active in these kind of slow, dormant off months when we're not hunting as much, whether that be putting on the backpack and getting out and going for a hike, jumping on the bike that we have uh, in our basement. Again, we're all gonna try different things to go through this 90 day experience, but there's no doubt from my perspective of what Casey achieved last year, seeing him on the mountain was a night and day difference of his stamina, his strength. Again, he mentioned it, but being happy when we're out there packing out an animal. Uh, most of the times he was the first guy back to the truck on a heavy pack out, and that was such a big difference from just 12 months prior. The, always the hardest thing when you look at the stuff, in my opinion, from my own experience, is taking the first step to just do it. Mm -hmm. Once you take the first step, things get progressively easier as this goes on. We're gonna have some challenges too, because we're gonna be traveling a lot throughout the first three months. It's trade show season, so there's gonna be uh, unique obstacles that kind of come in the way of trying to eat healthy and trying to stay active during some times when uh, we don't have a ton of time to do it. But again, that's gonna be the reality of starting from January 1st and finishing up at the end of March. Yeah, I would say, um, like BMAC said, it could start with just one simple change. A lot of people find it hard to just get started. And like Casey said uh, in the beginning, is that could start with just making yourself a better breakfast. It could be any little change that could snowball effect into a lot of great changes that could that really add up over time, over the three months, into some great results and a huge change in your lifestyle and your overall health and happiness, which is so important because if you don't have health, like what, what is life if you're unhealthy and unhappy? So we wanna encourage everybody to get on board. We wanted to upload this video on our channel before January 1st to kind of give you time to mentally prepare to make that mental commitment and uh, get ready because as you guys know the New Year's resolution losing weight or becoming more healthy is probably the number one New Year's res resolution and we want to help lead that with you guys and do it ourselves and the best way to do it is uh, kind of practice what you preach and lead by example and I think I think Casey was a great example of that last year. If you guys watched the 90 days when we did the vlogs, he started with just a simple protein shake in the morning because he's not a breakfast guy. No. And uh, I can say with Brian that looking at last year's, maybe let's pick like Colorado hunt yeah. versus this year's or even our high country deer camp last year versus this year's, the comments are still going crazy on our channel um, over Casey's transformation, which is super cool because it inspired a lot of people. So. Step one, get signed up for this thing. Go to mountainops.com, go to the... It's right, yeah, so mountainops.com, it's right in their menu. Um, it's under the more tab, and then the first thing is 90 day uh, transformation challenge. It's got a little thing to submit a photo, sign up, it's super easy, and this is all free. Yeah, 100% free. Go and sign up, and then I'd say step two, mentally commit yourself to doing this, whatever it might take. Even if, like Brian was saying, even if it's just to live a healthier lifestyle, make a small change. Mentally decide to make it one small change in your life, and trust me, if you stick to that long enough, that small change will lead into bigger changes. And before you know it, you'll be 100% healthier and happier. Figure out too where you want to maybe work work out, for example. Like I'm not, I am not a gym person. I do not foresee myself going to a gym and lifting weights. It's just not going to happen. I, I know who I am. 
That being said, I love hiking the mountains that, that we hunted. And to me, that is the single greatest way I can get my legs in shape and just my cardio in shape is to be out there. So for me, I'd rather put on a, a pack and go hike. For maybe Eric or Casey through this process, they may gravitate into a different channel of how they're getting their cardio done. I mean, all of you guys are gonna have a different way to accomplish the goal. The key thing is I think figuring out which one you like. And so if you're not a gym guy, figure out something else. If you're not a gym person, that being said, you know, do a different method. Yeah, and there are plenty of workouts and things you can do at home yep. with equipment or without. And if you guys do need more information and maybe some more mapped out plans, just go to the Mountain Ops website again. And underneath the Conquer Fitness tab, you'll find the Elk Shape program, Zach Griffith's program. Mine's on there. So if you need somewhere to start, whether you're going to the gym or even at home, Matt Davis did a really cool program with a lot of backpack workouts. Yep. So, you, you know, no excuses, guys. Whether you're doing it at home or you have a gym membership, it's time to commit. And uh, I think one other thing, too, if, if you just cannot get yourself around the idea of getting more physically active, your diet will predicate your results more than anything. I think Casey could say that, you know, unequivocally. 100%. They say, uh, well, diet for me was number one. Exercise was definitely number two, and that this is kind of how things started rolling. But I really concentrated on my diet first, and then the exercise came, and then supplements helped help me out. And that's really how I started. Was like Eric said, I'm not a breakfast guy. Typically, I would wake up, not eat until about two, when I was absolutely starving, and then just make some really terrible decisions and choices after that because I was so hungry. I didn't care. I started out with one Mountain Ops protein shake every morning. That was a small decision I made, and that's where it started. And that led into, hey, I, I ate healthy this morning. I started the day out right. Why not just go through the day out making better decisions? And then the diet came pretty easy after a few weeks, and then that's when I started exercising a lot. But definitely Mountain Ops helped me a lot. The supplement part end of it helped me a lot. So we have something big we want to announce. Anytime you go to the Mountain Ops website from January 1st till the end of March, and you use the hush code, you will be put in a figurative hat to win a a hush truck. A hush truck. Logan, <laughs> do flashes in the editing. <laughs> so we uh, we are building currently, as we speak right now, today Toyota Tundra Crew Max Edition. It's getting a bunch of fantastic additions on it. It should be turnkey, ready to go. Uh, honestly, an incredible hunting vehicle for whoever the lucky person is that wins this. Uh, when we pick the winning name out of the hat, again, all you've got to do is use Hush at checkout. You're automatically going to be entered into the bucket. And uh, yeah, by the, uh, the end of this 90 day transformation, somebody's going to walk away with a brand new Toyota Tundra. Just imagine this, 90 days, you're in the best shape of your life. On top of that, you win Toyota Tundra, Hush truck, ready to go to the hills, and conquer because you've conquered the 90 day challenge. This is separate. You don't have to go and order anything from Mountain Ops to sign up for the, for the 90 day challenge. But like we said, supplements definitely help. So if you want to try some supplements, maybe get a step ahead, go and order something off Mountain Ops. We recommend the Ignite, it's big for us. Uh, the protein shakes are big for us. Love the Magnum. The Magnum's great. Um, I'm a pre-workout guy. Pre-workout so guy. Okay. <laughs> but they, they definitely help and if you want to be entered into to win the truck just go and do something and uh, guys Let's do this thing. Let's commit right now to Becoming the best us we can be and it starts right now go and sign up commit yourself to it And we're gonna do this together. Yeah, let's go guys. We've got uh, Three months. Let's push it hard It'll get us in great shape and it'll be a great stepping stone to get us that much closer to hunting season which starts for us really in August as far as the fall season. But yeah, this is a great time to work towards that goal and get ready for the hunts.